Hey singers, welcome or welcome back to the weekly warm up. My name is Laura and I love to share clear, fun voice education so you can enjoy your singing even more. Now, a couple weeks ago, I shared a video about consonants, where to put them. And one of the rules that I recommended you try was to put voiced consonants onto the pitch of the following vowel. That kind of sounds confusing and it does kind of take a little practice to get used to doing it. So I thought today I would share with you a great exercise for learning to place your consonants on the pitch that follows. This will eliminate scooping, it will make your pick pitch accuracy better, so there are a ton of benefits, plus it's fun. So if that sounds good to you, stick around. Okay, so the basic rule is to put voiced consonants on the pitch of the vowel that follows. Let's just parse that for a second. Voiced consonants are consonants that require a buzz in the larynx, a buzz in the vocal cords to make their sound. So things like v, b, and z are voiced, whereas things like s, p, and k are not. And you can just tell the difference by putting your fingers on the front of your throat gently. And if you feel a buzz, that's voiced. If not, it's not voiced. So what we're trying to do here is any consonant that is voiced can have a pitch. Think of things like or where I can't make that have a pitch. So we should make the consonant match the pitch we're about to sing on the vowel. Otherwise we get scooping. Da, da, da. Scooping is sort of one of those big choral no-nos. And so to avoid it, we really have to get in the habit of placing these consonants on the pitch that follows. So here's the exercise. It's a simple five note scale and it's going to be on the syllables and I will write them below here. La, be, da, me, ni, po, and tu. Now all of those are voiced except for po and tu. The p and t are unvoiced. Everything else we can place on a pitch, even if it's a really short one like b and d, those do have pitch, so let's make sure it matches the pitch you're about to sing. So if we're gonna sing this scale, then we'll put the L of La on this pitch, the B of Be here, and so on and so forth. Let me sing it once. We're gonna have two pitches each on Mi and Po. Everything else will get one pitch, and I'll guide you through here. So it's gonna go like this. La, Be, Do, Me, Ni. I'm still recovering from a cold, so you can hear my voice is a little fuzzy, but that doesn't matter. You can still get the benefit of this exercise. So let's give that a try together. Now, just to show you what the alternative is, what if you just didn't think about where those consonants went? You might end up with something like La be da me ni po tu. Now, of course, I'm making my vowels not as nice, but you can hear that little scoop at the start. It's a little bit Vegas, and we don't really want that sound in our choral music. So to keep everything tuning up really nicely, and also to keep you really thinking ahead in terms of your pitch, and really thinking, where is that pitch? And getting your mind focused before you have to sing the vowel. So even before the beat, that's gonna really help to improve your pitch accuracy as well as eliminating scooping. So let's do a couple of these together. Let's go here again. Ready? La, be, da, me, ni, po, tu. And here. La, be, da, me, ni, po, tu. And one more. La, Now let's talk about a few upgrades and troubleshooting ideas in case you want to make this even better or you're having a little bit of a hard time. First, the L. We want to make that with just the tip of the tongue against the kind of the gum line behind the top teeth. Not here, not on the ridge of the teeth, but against the gum line. La 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 la. Not la 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 la. And especially not la 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 with the back of the tongue. 
All of those are wonderful sounds that you are welcome to make in your speech, but they do not help your singing as much as that tip of the tongue against the gum line behind the top teeth. So be sure you're using that as your first consonant, la 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 la. Now let's talk about the B, D, T, and P. Let's make sure that those are pronounced as they would be in Italian, with a dentalized or stopped or imploded feeling. So instead of b, 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 d, 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 instead of t, 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 see if you can feel the difference between t, t, and ta, ta, or I guess in this exercise it's tu, tu, tu requires a slightly different tongue position. We're actually putting the tongue up again against the roof of the mouth right behind the top teeth instead of just exploding air between the teeth touching each other. T that creates a big kind of disruptive puff, puff of air as does b and d. And sometimes that can manifest if you explode the air in kind of an H sound in the middle of your word. So if your exercise sounded a little bit like La beta many po tu. Can you hear there's almost an H after my P and my T? It's disrupting my legato. So instead, I can Italianize or dentalize or implode my consonants to help them fit in or tuck into the vocal line a little better with something like La beta many po tu. This helps even the unvoiced consonants feel like they really are part of the legato line. Finally, avoid the diphthong on be and me. So make sure they're not be and me, as in the body of water and the month, but really a nice be and me. Nice even syllables. Why don't we sing this one more time? Just for funsies. Let's go here together. Starting here. Tip of the tongue at the ready, dentalized consonants at the ready, and let's go. Ready and here. Thanks so much for singing with me today. I always appreciate your time, and I would especially appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel, and definitely come back next Thursday for more. In the meanwhile, thank you for practicing.